Welcome back to CBS Mornings. We'll have our talk of the table segment a bit later than usual in just a few minutes, but we now turn to the growing baby formula shortage across the country. According to retail analyst Data Assembly, the nationwide out of stock rate for baby formula hit 43% this month. We're joined now by Food and Drug Administration Commissioner, Dr. Robert Califf. Dr. Califf, good morning, good to see you. Good morning, I'm glad I can be with you this morning. So, Dr. Kale, if this kind of shortage doesn't happen overnight, why didn't the FDA take steps much earlier to prevent it from, from getting this bad? Well, first of all, let me say that um, we're very aware of the issues this raises for families. Uh, I'm the grandfather of six uh, children and raised three myself, so I know how basic and fundamental the nutritional needs of children are and how worrisome it is for, this is for parents. We've been working with this uh, really since complaints came in uh, about a particular plant um, that had problems. And as we uh, tried to manage both dealing with making sure the plant is safe, because it makes some really essential components of infant formula, and then also trying to keep up with what's happening in the market by uh, helping uh, other companies fill in the gaps. So this has been a work in progress all along. So, so when do you expect the shortage will be over? What can you tell parents who are looking for a timeline? Well, um, we would expect this to gradually get better over the next several weeks and uh, within uh, really several months to be completely up to normal. But I'd stress that um, up to normal means 100 percent of normal. And as long as we're in a reasonable range, it should be entirely possible for families to get their formula increasingly, really over the next several days to weeks. What do you say to the families, though, Dr. Cale, that said, you know, we don't have several days or several weeks, that this is really a dire emergency situation? I know you're aware of that. You certainly pointed out in your own family you recognize that this is an issue. But families say, we don't have the time. We need it now. We need it yesterday. Well, I would stress that this degree of stocking of the shelves, our numbers look a little bit different than the number that you quoted. So we believe it is possible for all families to get formula. There is enough to go around, but it's not distributed in the right way. So I want to fully recognize that it's very difficult and recognize people's concerns. There's a website you can go to, hhs.gov slash formula which gives hotlines for all the manufacturers and a way to get access to formula if you're having trouble. You know, yesterday on Face the Nation, former FDA commissioner, that would be Scott Gottlieb, said something that had a lot of people shaking their heads or mouths dropped, where he said, basically, there are only nine people in this country, nine was the number he named, that oversee the baby formula industry. How is that possible? Well, we'll be addressing that in uh, budget hearings with the House this week, actually. Um, I would say the food side of the FDA has been in need of more uh, financial resources so that we can hire enough people for quite some time. Uh, so it's a major emphasis of mine to get this budget increased so that we have adequate staff. I do want to note that the nine people have been working night and day. In fact, uh, over the entire weekend, we had multiple groups of staff pitching in uh, to uh, deal with this shortage. Dr. Caleb, if parents struggle to find formula here in the U.S., should they be able to buy it from Europe? Well, we, uh, over the weekend, one of the things that we worked on continuously was uh, putting forth a set of rules that would enable uh, the use of formula that was intended for other countries. Some of it even manufactured in the U.S. intended for other countries. You can imagine that it's really important that we make sure that the um, constituents, remembering that formula has over 30 different constituents that have to be in the formula, and also that the instructions for use are in English or a language that the consumer can understand, because mixing right. up the formula, getting the right formula for the infant is critical. Mm. But as soon as right. today, we should uh, be able to announce our path forward for this. A lot of parents will be waiting uh, for information related to that news. Dr. Caleb, thank you very much. Thank you.